Hello everybody and welcome to today's live stream where we are going to be making some plushies and by we I mean uh, mostly just me you're just gonna watch but I am going to be adding a bunch of new plushies to the game specifically to the brand new gift shop prop pack that I made recently so you may have seen it right now and right now the gift shop pack was 99% pretty much just uh you know billboards but obviously what are gift shops without plushies they're nothing so i i knew that i had to add them and these were actually supposed to be in the initial release of the pack but obviously you know axie came out and then i wanted to just get it out there you know so that you guys could start playing with it ahead of time but as you can see i have been very busy you know in the meantime i i never have a break <laughs> i never <laughs> i never stop working and so I have been just uh, busting out a bunch of uh, different plushies and stuff for all of us. So they are all flexicolor. So that is the, the main thing. So you may have seen in the last bug stream, I showcased the elephant off or whatever, and it had a little fuzzy texture. I have opted out of not using that in favor of just kind of like a velvety texture. Um, just so that, like I said, it could be used with flexi color. So that's the important thing. So to me, I think this is way more versatile. You can get blue elephants and pink elephants and green elephants, every color, you know, you could possibly want. It's fully flexi color too. So I have it so that you can, you know, swap out multiple color layers and, um, you might be like, what does this channel do? It's actually for the little tail color. I don't know if you see that. But the, uh, the tail has a flexi color channel on it, and then obviously the tusks have a flexi color channel. I don't know why you would really want them anything other than white. Maybe you'd want them yellow. I use that as an example if you're like making like a, uh, I don't know, like a circus elephant plushie or something. I, I could see that. I know Ringling Brothers back in the day used to have stuff like this that were really, you know, cool. So ultimately, I think this is way more versatile this way and allows me to um, A, make less models, which is always good. So as you can see, like, you know, I have a ton of animals back here, but the reality of the situation is I really only have, I think, 10 plushies right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine plushies so far, but I was able to make all of these different animals just from these nine, just because of the way that I kind of organize them. Because believe it or not, most animals are not that unique. So for instance, um, if you want to make uh, tapirs, right? So the tapir is the one that I uh, really especially, you know, made sure was versatile. So. Right here, it's a beard's tapir, right? No one could deny that, you know, it's got the color palette and stuff. But if you just swap around some flexi color channels, right? If we make this black and then we make this white, oh look, now it's a Malayan tapir. Okay, well maybe now we want like a mountain tapir, right? Well, now you can make the, uh, the white mouth and then you add the orange and then uh, get rid of the white and then, oh look, now it's a mountain tapir. So I decided to make sure that like, you know, the flexi color was smart. That way you don't really have too many plushies clogging up your thing. Similarly, um, I hope you guys forgive me. I called this one just a cheetah. It's not really a cheetah, but it kind of acts as a cheetah. But depending how you color it, you know, you can make it. Oh look, now it's a jaguar. Okay, now let's make it like a black panther. Okay, you just make everything black, you know, like, and I think this way is easier than other things. Similarly, we can make it into a snow leopard really quickly. You just make that white, you make that like a lighter white, and then you make this like an off gray. Cool, now it's a snow leopard. So as you can see, like it's a lot easier to mix and match animals this way without needing to really do much. So that's kind of been the idea. So as an example, it looks like we have decided in the chat prior to today's stream that we are going to be making the um, bears first, and I'll show those off in a few minutes. But as an example, I'm not going to make an individual black bear, polar bear, and grizzly bear. I'm just going to make a single bear, and then you can swap the colors to be whatever you want. And I think that's the smartest way to do it. But like I said, I think you get a lot of different variety. Like even when I just had the elephant, right? Just by making like different elephant colors and stuff, you were already able to fill out shelves and stuff. But now like I already have with just these nine, a ton of different things that hopefully, you know, once I get more base animals done, like I want to do 
the bears and the dogs. Once I get those and then maybe a couple more ungulates, you'll pretty much be good for any, you know, gift shop. I really don't think you're going to have too much of an issue. So that's going to be a big thing. So, uh, yeah, so um, I want to show off all of the models that I've made so far so that you guys can get an idea of what I've done. So if we jump into Maya, this has been my workshop for making plushies. So it, exactly what Super Forgettable did, I basically made a template for all the plushies. Like you can kind of see it here. It's just the body and then uh, some legs and stuff. And then essentially what I've been doing is just kind of mix and matching body parts to make different animals. So I make an elephant head and then I can just manipulate the ears a little bit. Now it's an Asian elephant. Take a rhino, remove a horn, stretch out the body. Now you have a white rhino and an Indian rhino. Then take that same body and then you just make a different face. Now it's a hippo. Take the same thing, make the body a little bit fatter. Now we have a tapir and etc. So like, you know, by making just small changes, I'm able to mass produce plushies and i think this is you know especially when frontier inevitably rips me off and uh makes this official because they always do i'm expecting all four of my packs that i just made to eventually come out officially because frontier always does that to me so i am fully expecting that if we get plushies in planet zoo officially they'll likely do something similar where it's just an uh, art style that's very simple and I had some of my friends like ask me, like, Nick, how are you gonna like future proof this? How are you gonna make sure that if Frontier comes out with official stuff that your stuff isn't irrelevant? And my answer to that is unless they completely ripped off my art style, I think these would still hold up. Cause it would be really, really weird if they managed to somehow make the exact same plushies as me. And so I think it's smarter to smarter that you know, you just get options. So you could use the official ones, or if you also want to have like a more unique gift shop, you can also kind of use mine. So that's my logic. I can, you know, I'm assuming that would be the case if and when we get the gift shops, which like I said, I think we will. Um, so basically today, I'll just remove any of the ones that I have already added so that they're not clogging up the thing. These are the old Big Cat designs. I've redesigned them so they look slightly different in game. I think they look better in my opinion. I made their like nose a little bit bigger and they're a bit more detailed, but um, they're still fundamentally the same idea. So then we have over here, these are the ones that I have to add as well as the hippo. And then I can't, uh, you know, not shout out my good friend Kaidu who has actually been providing uh, some additional uh, plushies that I will be adding. I probably not this stream because they're going to be a bit more in depth. But as you can see, Kaidu has been working on the crocodilians for me. So Kaidu did the uh, alligator, crocodile, caiman, and gharial. So you can kind of look at all of those. Let me pull up the the caiman a little bit. So the caiman, very very similar. Uh, I told her to basically do the same approach of like make a basic body and then you can just manipulate it to be slightly different depending so um i might retexture these a little bit because like obviously the way that um she did her textures are not gonna work perfectly with the way I'm, I'm gonna do it but uh it'll be very very similar i'm obviously gonna use her same model approach and stuff so um when you get them in game they will eventually kind of look vaguely like this so that'll be the thing to look forward to but um Oh, it's funny that uh, you mentioned that, the Schleichish figures. So, um, what's funny is, you may have seen with the gift shop pack, I can show this off, because this was actually going to be maybe an idea for another stream. I have been kind of working on some generic designs for the gift shop pack, that sit for people who aren't maybe as, um, you know, uh, what's the word, like, uh, artistically inclined. Um, and can't make their own designs really well. So what I've been doing is basically making a bunch of different kind of generic patterns and stuff that I'll eventually release publicly. So as an example, we made this cringy shirt the other day, <laughs> which is just like one of those like, you know, animal face shirts. Similarly, in the same vein, I had to do another kind of uh, shirt design that growing up in the 2000s, this was at every zoo ever. It didn't matter what it was. So I needed to include that one 
it was just one of those things. <laughs> like, you know, I got to include it. So these are like a couple of examples of shirts. And I vaguely showed it off in my video, but I have also been kind of working on these kind of, uh, again, Safari LTD schleich boxes, at least, um, for as many animals as I can. I, obviously, you know, they take some time to, like, design them and stuff, but essentially I've been working with a few people, Leaf and Croco and a few other people, and we're trying to basically, oh, that's the wrong thing. That wouldn't make sense on a box. Um, we're just trying to make as many of these particular designs as possible. So as an example, this one was made by Croco. So Croco did the aardvark. Um, I basically made a template and then everyone can just kind of uh, create them. You just basically uh, swap out the name, swap out the uh, Planet Zoo image on the side and then you can just uh, replace the figure and stuff. So as you can see, like on the back, they each have like the Planet Zoo, the a zoopedia esque photo. It's not always the Zoopedia photo. And then I didn't really show this off, but I'm also doing biomes. So this is all part of the Safari set in quotes. And then this is gonna be the jungle set, which is just gonna be kind of the same thing, but just, you know, a different color box. So you have gorilla and uh tiger you know kind of your standard like basic jungle animals then similarly i have just started on this set it's kind of work in progress but this is going to be the like tundra set um so that's going to have stuff like polar bear and penguins and stuff like that and i eventually intend on doing like a wilderness set so that we can get some north american animals like moose and wolves and grizzly bear and stuff um, but you know, I think that's, uh, it, it's a cool set. I'm, I'm thinking that'll be really good if you want to like decorate your, you know, uh, gift shops and stuff in greater detail. And again, I've been seeing some people on the workshop have already been, you know, mass producing entire gift shop sets as well, which is really, really exciting. But yes, um, back to your initial thing, uh, Rick. I have debated doing that because, like, obviously if I took the existing taxidermy, like, this and stuff and just shrunk it significant, like, significantly, it would work as, like, a figure, but I'll have to see how it'll work. So, um, because obviously it's not the easiest thing to, you know, make all of these things. And so I'm trying to, like, prioritize what the most important thing is versus the least important and stuff. So it's just a thing where it's doable but it's going to be really time consuming so and unfortunately like i said the majority of the modding community is not that you know inclined when it comes to props most of them do animals so it really you know is up to a handful of people who can do the prop mods to help me and obviously we're all busy because <laughs> like as an example i'm working on this right now but i also have four other packs again in the works that I have to continue to update. I still have to do India. Um, we've already been in discussions about the next, um, I guess, I can tease it a little bit because I tease everything, the next version of the prop animal pack. So as an example, I will just give you an example. Here you go. <sighs> cough, cough. Uh, here you go. Whoa, look, it's water. <laughs> So that's like an idea of, you know, something that is in the works. And then we have a bunch of other things. Leaf was actually working on some animals for me last night. That's really cool. And I'm excited to have you see them. But like I said, I think we have, you know, kind of rambled on long enough. So like I said, we're going to start off today by doing the bears. So I'm going to start with generic and we'll go to more specific. So we're going to start off with uh the we can pretty much get rid of the polar bear because it's going to be the same thing but we're going to do the grizzly bear so the grizzly bear is going to act as our black bear grizzly bear and polar bear so that should be good kick out the cape buffalo slash wildebeest i don't even know what you want to call it i uh, don't need you guys because this is the thing you're going to watch me you know do this kind of from scratch so i have to just make sure that the UVs and stuff all look good. The um, texturing and stuff is going to be good. I chose animals specifically like the bear and stuff 
to do for today's stream just because I don't want to focus too heavily on the crazy textures, texture patterns like the giraffe, or the cheetah, or the tiger because those take a lot of time because I have to manually, you know, draw out spots and stripes and stuff. So that's why we're not doing like a zebra or anything, um, if you were wondering. Just because obviously I'm, I want to do a zebra, or, you know, some of the more crazy animals but you know we have to make sure that we're realistic here and i don't want to uh make it too difficult on myself frankly um for today's stream so that is all looking good i'm trying to see if there's any issues looks pretty good cool so here's what we're gonna do gonna file export and we're gonna find the folder that i've been working out of which should not be the folder i'm working out of uh i believe it or not I know it's still a mess. I've cleaned out my D drive a little bit. <laughs> so I actually have uh, kind of cleaned out stuff. Yeah, I've been doing everything in Billboard Test in Plush Elephant. These are where all the plushies have been going. So again, all of my organization. Again, one of these days on stream, we're going to be doing a Nick cleans out the shark mod folder and we're going to start organizing this stuff because it's getting kind of crazy. I think I just called it plugged, plugged, plush nine. Oh, this is going to say that this substance is expired because I actually have another substance license right now. Yep, I know. Sorry, not that one. I need to grab my other substance. Substance painter. There we go. We want this guy. We don't want the dragon. <laughs> Let's see what the chat's saying. What are you guys up to? All right. So here is substance I think the Schleich figures would be somewhat difficult because of how small they'd be. Not really. Actually, Goron, they'd be pretty easy because all I'd have to do is take my existing taxidermy and shrink them. Like, I think that would be totally acceptable for what, you know, the purposes of what we would need them for would be. And I would still be willing to maybe add some, maybe the ABC animals, like the, you know, um, stuff like elephant, lion, giraffe, etc., Stuff that you could just, you know, justify as bigger stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to make every... That's the issue is I get people want me to always make every animal in the base game and some modded stuff. <laughs> but unless it's easy to do, I usually try to avoid it because it's just not easy. <laughs> it's just not always the easiest thing to do. So here's the, uh, the good thing, right? So what I've actually done is I've made a smart, ma a custom smart material that I can just apply on all of my models and they'll pretty much auto texture for myself. So that's going to be really, really useful. So um, as an example, we're going to make the base texture right now. So we're going to basically add a black layer. And then what we got to do is we have to select the eyeball. It's always the eyeball and the tag. And then if I grab uh, the texture, which I could probably get from one of these folders, plush elephant, sure. We'll just grab the texture from here. This basically gives us the eyeball texture and the uh, planet zoo tag on the butt. So as you can see, it just auto adds that for me, which is really useful. And then now we could just focus on the rest of the texture. So uh, we don't need any of that. So now we just got to select each of these little UV boxes in each of these layers. And essentially what it's doing is it's just going ahead and adding all of the normal map roughness, all of that garbage that most of you don't understand <laughs> um, to the thing to make it look nice. So as an example, this one adds the um, kind of cloudy varnish almost so if everything's looking peachy looks good to me I think we have our base texture so you might be like Nick what, what do you mean like that's like barely anything yep that's the point <laughs> you want it as vague as possible and white so that if they were to just make you know everything the same color it would be good so we will go up a layer really quickly and then we're gonna do plush bear. So we're gonna add that to this folder right here. We'll do export, and I forgot to make it a 2048 texture. So we're gonna make it a 2048 by 2048 texture right now. And by doing this, so we'll hit export, 
And if we check it out, we should have our texture in the plush bear folder. Yep, so that all did it great. So it generated all the texture maps that we need. So got to do the normal map, roughness. So here's our three basic textures. Now we get to the fun part, which is adding the flexi color ability. So it's kind of a pain, kind of easy, but it's essentially you need to make anything that you want to be the uh, flexi color layer white, anything you don't want to be black. So in our particular case, we're going to start off by making the eyeball and the uh, tag black. So we'll do that quickly, make the eyeball black and the tag black and then anything that we want, which for the base layer will just be everything else, we'll make that white. So make a white tag, and then we'll just do this. Uh, remove the eyeball, and remove the tag. So as you can see, everything is gonna be immediately one flat color, so that's really good. So we'll do file, export textures, export that and then this is going to be our first flexi color layer so we'll do this flex one then we're gonna now do the next one so for the second flexi color layer i often like to do the um i i, I forget what i want to call like i call it like the detail layer so like any any special areas that we want to be a slightly different color so let's see so we'll do like a white and then just go in here. So as an example, right, we're just gonna turn on symmetry really quickly. And we're just gonna make stuff like the inner ears, for instance, we'll make them like a white color. So these would be like kind of like for our elephant and stuff. You see like the inner ear and stuff, you want it to kind of affect that. So that's kind of the idea that you want. So we're gonna make the inner ear that color and probably the bottom of the feet. So we'll just be a little careful. That looks pretty good though. And now we'll just do the bottom of the feet, which for that, I usually just do kind of like a circle. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, just kind of like so. And to me, if we go into base color, it's looking pretty good. I don't know why, what is that? For some reason, like there's a, uh... huh, why is it like that? That is bizarre. Um, it's like black for some, or uh, like a purplish color for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't know, but I mean, I can just make a quick layer on top of this that's just black to overwrite the eye. It's just bizarre though. I don't know why it's doing that. I must have like not hit something or something of that nature. There we go. So that's what we want. So I don't think we need any uh, body color because this is going to be, like I said, for grizzly bears, black bears, and polar bears. So this should be pretty basic nothing crazy about it so we'll call this flex 2 get rid of all of this so that's the two done so now um, I guess I want to have the muzzle be a different color a little bit and I think that's it because the muzzle is pretty much the only thing that would need to be whatever so we'll make this other layer black, we'll make this one white, and so now we just got to make the muzzle white. But I want to uh, change one little thing, and that is I want to make it so that the nose is going to be a different color. So like as an example, the nose is going to be our last flexi color channel. So that way uh, we're able to kind of Change the, change the nose color, nothing super special. <laughs> if the stream hits five likes, Nick has to say something random. I, I, I don't know, something random. 
like a random fact. Um, trying to trying to think of like a random fact. Did you know that the world's smallest continent is Europe? Because I didn't know that when I went to trivia. <laughs> I thought it was Australia. But at trivia night, we got... I, I, I kind of messed it up for the team. wasn't very good. Uh, let's see. Polygonal fill. Well, that was random. Yep, there you go. <laughs> now we all know. Oh, I'm just realizing now the audio, the music stopped. So let's keep playing it again. I was wondering why it was like awkward. That would explain it though. What's up, baby fire? How you doing? All right, let me check up on the chat. Let me see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Bold doing the side eyes. Uh, don't tell me how to live my life. Yep, that makes sense. Is it Antarctica? So no, Antarctica is huge. Antarctica is like, I think the fifth biggest, actually. It's bigger than Europe and Australia. Um, it's, it's actually massive. Did you know Rhode Island is the smallest state? Yep, it sure is. And everyone likes to rub it in our faces. All right. So for the last flexi color layer, we're gonna make the nose white. So we'll just do this really quickly and we're done. File, texture, plush, bear. And we'll save this so this will be flex four. So now, miraculously, we have all of our textures done. So, uh, with the textures done and everything else done, we're actually in a pretty good position to just literally finish the entire thing right now. So, I've actually even coded it, so we're actually in a very good position right now. So, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to actually take 29 because 29 was the giraffe, and so that was a little bit different from the others just because I had to extend the size of it, so I don't want to use that as base. But, there we go. So we'll do file, large, and then now we just gotta replace each and every texture. So we'll open up Photoshop. Gotta sell our souls to Adobe. They bought Substance, they bought Photoshop, they have pretty much everything. But I, I still hold on to Sony Vegas, because I need to still have an upper hand. Um, well, this is unfortunate. My thing is so clogged with stuff, I need to like, find the actual bear folder plush bear here we go base texture paste that in we're good i like how simple the bear is compared to like some of my other stuff like the elephant or giraffe or whatever like the texture is significantly smaller um so we'll do model 30 now we'll just replace our flexi color channels really quickly so this is flexi one, file save, PNG, flexi two, file save, PNG, flexi three, Flexi 4. Antarctic Archipelago. Sounds nice. I'd go there. I don't know if I would. Like, I, I, I've, I think we've discussed this. Like, people who want to go to Antarctica versus, like, people who don't. I have zero reason to go to Antarctica. Because the one reason that people would say is, Oh, you get to look at penguins. I don't care. I've seen Antarctic penguins. I've, you know, now that I've been to SeaWorld, I don't care. It's, like, the same thing, like... Um, once upon a time, I had a real desire to go to Australia. I kind of lost interest now just because the reason I wanted to go there is to see that they're really cool wildlife. But like, 
I can see that I, you know, I've seen that at zoos now. So like, now that I've seen a Tasmanian devil and a wombat, and I mean, I missed out on the platypus, which is kind of a pain. But I, I intend on going back to San Diego at some point. So, um, I'm I'm holding out hope that I'm still able to see a platypus in my life. Unless San Diego Zoo also loses theirs, and then I guess I will just take the L and go to Australia after all. So we'll do file save. This is the one roughness map that we have to edit. Cool. Hit OK. And I believe that is everything. So now all we got to do is inject all our files really quickly. Give it a second. It was complaining. Uh, what did I mess up? I messed up something. Um, because there's not supposed to be four flexi colors. There's only supposed to be three. So that's good. That's good. It's this one I messed up. Oh, what did I just join? That's a uh, hex hexadecimal number editor. You don't want to use that for art. That would be weird. There we go. Now that I clean that up, we're good. You've gone twice to Antarctica. <laughs> what I realized is it was cold. Yup, that would be Antarctica in a nutshell. Getting warmer each year. Um, so I guess the big thing that I guess, because this is the first video since, or a live stream since Axie came out officially that's live. Does anyone have any questions about Axie? Because I know, like, there's, you know, it's, people are probably just still getting used to it. They still don't quite understand. I tried my best to explain it in that video, but in, in hindsight, it was a pretty bad, like, explanation of why you need it. So, if anyone has any real questions, like, do let me know, because I will try my best to um, further clarify anything that may have been totally, you know, lost in that video. Similarly, if there's any um, other ideas for props to include in the gift shop pack or something, let me know those as well. So, let me see really quick. We'll do... We're gonna try to load in our bear model right now. So this is the new format for model editing. You don't have to have MDL2s anymore, you just need MS2 files now. I know, it's very impressive. So we'll do prop bear, bear plush, there you go. Shrink it down to be the appropriate size, so rough. I want it to be roughly the same size, so like there, give or take. The plushies all have slightly different proportions from each other, so some have fatter legs, some have taller bodies, stuff like that, but they're all roughly the same. And that was intentional, so. Move our rhino out of the way. Move the texture. Change this to be UV0. Combine you with you. We can get rid of the rhino now. Get rid of you. Select all of you. Apply you to the off-road vehicle. So yeah, believe it or not, underneath all of the uh, all of the plushies are technically uh, jeeps underneath everything. <laughs> Just because the jeep has the 2048 by 2048 texture, so it's the easiest to use. Plus their flexi color, so that's also useful. So we're just gonna copy and paste this a whole bunch, and then we will be good. File export MS2 30 apply edit export cool. Go to 30, grab you, delete you. Oh, what did I just delete? Delete you, paste you, delete you. Now we need to go into this because we actually made a bear. So we will call this plushie 
grizzly bear. Again, forgive me, technically this also applies to the polar bear. So there won't be one that calls polar bear. I am sorry about that. But I would obviously bring back a mammoth, if you were asking. Um, yeah, so there are so, so animations, animated props are in the works. And Aki was actually telling me that he got them kind of working this morning. It's not ideal by any metric, and so it's not going to be super commonplace. But um, we should be able to get some animated props. They're just going to be a little bit more difficult to make than others. So as an example, um, butterflies and stuff will be able to flap their wings, and the way we're going to be doing this is through code. So through Axie, we're able to make scripts that are going to be making um, props that move and stuff manually, which obviously is not ideal. You don't want to have, you know, animation tools where everything is done using code. But for some specific things, it would be useful because, like, butterflies, for instance, they, we just need their wings to flap, right? So for the most part, we can just make it so that it goes... Um, take the left wing rotate it up and down and it just rotates up and down constantly and then you take the the right wing and then it rotates up and down constantly and then what you end up doing is making a flapping animation so similarly we could probably do this for like um i don't know as in like uh, bats same thing birds would probably be able to fly as well Again, it's still very work in progress. So I don't want to, like, you know, um, get your hopes up yet until I have something to show you guys. But that is in the progress, and Aki and I are working on it. So that is very good. Like, and Aki's saying Axie is huge. It is huge. Like, that's the thing is... No, li listen to Anaki. Anaki is right. Axie is huge. The thing is, Axie on its own isn't a big deal. But, with, like, Axie on its own isn't a big deal. It's just a file that does nothing. But what Axie allows modders to do is make better looking mods. Like, for instance, I wouldn't have been able to make all of these flexi color objects using the same exact model and stuff without Axie. I wouldn't have been able to make any of these billboards without Axie. I wouldn't have been able to make foliage like from the uh from the frontier pack like the uh let me look up the, the palm tree for instance um i physically could not have made something like this without axie that works as a grassland and desert bio north america item that's climbable none of that could be done without axie so you know i get it it doesn't seem like a big deal now but trust me it's a huge deal in the long term especially like there's some other stuff that i could show you guys that you know internal modding use we're able to do but we don't want the public to know about because there there is some other stuff that you know frontier would probably get very mad at us about but um i just had it right i just made a grizzly bear if you're wondering why the icons haven't shown up it's because i forgot to add the icons but that's not a big deal so here's our bear. It's a black bear right now. And then if we want to make it into a, uh, let me just make sure that works. Yep, it does. So, so if we do this, we got a black bear. That's a really ugly black bear color though. Black bear, we'll make it a grizzly bear. Black bear grizzly bear finally you gotta do it you gotta make the polar bear there you go so now we have three bears <laughs> nice and simple see that's the 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 use of flexi color you can just make stuff very quickly so um now i guess is I'm, I'm just gonna make the hippo next just because that was the one that i was thinking about doing and i saw like a few people did want that but then we'll get back to doing the other um other things 
Uh, what could they get mad of? We can use their dev tools. That's been, like th their development tools. That that I'll say that. We we have access to their debugging tools, which allows us to spawn in animals and stuff. Good for us. Bad for if it fell in the wrong hands. So it makes. Oh, I just plugged in my microphone really quickly. <laughs> But yeah, so as an example, like um, it would be bad for things like franchise mode and stuff. It could totally like, ruin the franchise mode. So because of that, I'll tell you why, but I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Yes, I mean, if you want, you can make... I mean, I wouldn't recommend the elephant plushie or the African elephant for a mammoth. I would probably use the... Asian elephant if you wanted like a mammoth plushie like I would probably do something like this like it's basically already a mammoth and then I don't know you can like add some kind of fluff or something up, up top I don't, I, don't, I don't know the smartest way to like add a extra little floof on top but I'm sure you guys can think of something though I suppose like if you want it, you could probably use the uh, what's it called the font piece parentheses as tusks. You actually now piqued my interest, like, because I made a um, what is it, like a mammoth kind of recently in PK, um, using a similar idea. So let me see if I can find the parentheses. Oh, is that the large one? Oh, so are they too big? Maybe not. So maybe you can't. So I mean, maybe. If you use the 2D ones, they're not really ideal, though. But, you know. If you want to, I suppose you could. You could just do this. <laughs> there you go. You got big old tusks now. You have the biggest tusks out of any little thing. Yeah, and I suppose, like, you could use, like, commas or something on top. So, you could you can make stuff for sure, like, using these. But, you know, we'll have to see. So, yeah. So, we'll do the hippo next. So, you know, let me get that going. So, I've already taken the liberty of coding most of the animals. I just have to actually model them. So, um, but just so that the icons show up, let me just quickly add some icons really quickly. Because they weren't showing up yet. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And I will fix the uh, default flexicolor values of all of the um, plushies eventually. I, I'm just not that concerned about it right now on stream and stuff. So if we go to Maya, that's our grizzly bear. Looked pretty good but we're working on a hippo next. So, gotta get our hippo lined up correctly. So we'll just place it dead in the middle. Just line up that middle seam. And as you can see, he looks adorable, but we need to actually properly texture him. Though his texture process is gonna be very similar to how we did the other ones. So as an example, we're gonna do file new grab our hippo okay discard this one we don't need it anymore because it looked good and we're gonna add our plush material and it's gonna make the face black which is normal so it basically it's just a thing that just makes it so that the tag shows up correctly but we'll make the, the eyeballs black and we'll make the tag black that looks good to me now we gotta add the texture really quickly to everything so start off here we're just gonna go through and we're gonna make sure that every single thing is checked off so dink 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 looks good to me that's all good that's all good so it looks like the body has some kind of issue. I don't know why. 
it could be the fact that like some of this is like overlapping with each other so that is a thing um let's see uh so a giraffe habitat with tiny play <laughs> yeah i guess i guess you could do that if you wanted to make like a little tiny plush zoo which would be kind of adorable um yeah planet toy shop yeah well did you see that 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 i did that so on the um the discount safari ltd figures i actually did do that i made a fake brand called planet toys because i needed something that resembled the uh schleich um logo so that you could get the mental association that way that that's what it's supposed to be i also like how i used i based it off of schleich but i uh, use Safari LTD figures, which I find funny. So it's like a weird combination of the two brands. Um, Alright, what is the issue here? There we go. The ears weren't selected. So, I think everything is good. Everything appears to be the right texture. So... With everything being good, we just want to make sure that our tag is actually a tag and not a black texture, though we will want that kind of soonish. Um, let's see, elephant, never mind. I thought I had it though. I might have had it on the other one. I can just read, grab it quick. So we'll add, yep, this texture. Define it as a texture, import it, and we'll drag it in here. Cool. So now the eyes are black and its booty has a little Planet Zoo logo on it. Need to make this a 2048 by 2048. File, export textures, and we're going to make it um, where do we want to put it? Put it in a folder called Hippo. Export it out. That looks good. Now we will just navigate over to it. Hippo, here we go. That's our base texture. Don't need these two. Don't need one of these. Change this to normal map. Change this to roughness map. And we're done. So now we are already at the uh, flexi color stage. <laughs> And like I said, like flexi color and texturing is just the, the hardest part about this entire thing. What do I think the next planet game would be? Planet Coaster 2, uh, realistically. If I if we weren't gonna get like a, you know, direct Planko slash Planet Zoo sequel, Planet City would make the most sense. I feel like they would probably try to capitalize on City Skylines or uh, Sim City or something. That would probably be the way I would assume they would go. Because Frontier likes to piggyback off of existing famous franchises. And even though they like trademark stuff like prison and golf and stuff, I think they would definitely eyeball um, SimCity first. That would probably be their smartest idea. So we'll export this. This is going to be our base texture. Or not our base texture, but our first flexi channel. Then we will do the second one, which will be our, I guess, decorative one. So we'll do white. So this is gonna be for the inner ears and the um, feet. So we'll do like a little circle right there. Nothing, nothing crazy. And then we'll do the feet. And that looks good to me. Yep, that seems good. Export it, and we'll do that. So, for the hippo, I'm... Because hippos are kind of basic right like i don't really even know if they need four flexi channels normally 
they at least had hair or something that I'd be able to be like, oh, well, that would be the fourth flexi channel. But, like, I think hippos might just need two or uh, three. Like, I can literally probably get away with just the body, the teeth, and the uh, detail. Because I don't really, th like, I'm trying to think, like, could I do... Are there... I'm just going to look up some hippo plushie references really quick. Because from what I remember, most hippo plushies are just kind of, like, basic. And they don't have multiple color. Yeah, like... Yeah, they're all just flat color. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the hippo's only going to have three flexi channels. So... I'm surprised that, like, this is the first animal that we've come to that, like, actually does that, though. But, like, every other thing that I've had to do so far has had four, at least four. Well, I'm saying at least four. I can only have up to four. <laughs> but, um, I've never had, like, an issue being like, oh, that could be the fourth thing. It was always like, oh, yeah, you know, the hair, the tusks, the body, the detail. And then, oh, it, it, you know, we'll make this other thing something. For the lion, it was just adding the mane. For the tiger, it was adding the stripes, stuff like that. So it's kind of it's kind of funny that I've just never had that as an issue. But uh, yep. So that'll be uh, flexi three, and that's it. I guess we're done. <laughs> Here's our textures. All right. Let's let's do it. Making a hippo. Pygmy hippos, though. Yeah. See, like, I was... As an example, right? When have you ever seen a, a pygmy hippo plushie at a zoo? Unless you have a very, very niche zoo, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they don't sell pygmy hippo plushies. They just make a generic hippo. And that's kind of why I don't think I'm gonna do a pygmy hippo. Because it's just... It would be a wasted slot, like just adding an unnecessary thing that frankly doesn't need to be made because you could just have use the actual normal hippo. So that's kind of my thing. But, you know, I get if there was massive demand, but I really doubt it. I don't think anyone is like gonna lose sleep if I don't add a pygmy hippo because if that's the case, then why didn't I add you know, um, whoa, the Jaguar should have its own be, uh, model because, like, it's got different rosettes from a cheetah. Technically true. I just, you know, is it that big of a deal, though? That's, that's my, you know, philosophy, at least, is, like, unless it's truly necessary, I'm gonna probably skip it. Like, even, um, not to, like, you know, upset anyone or anything. There might be, like, a lot of ungulates I'm probably going to skip over. I don't really think Sable Antelope needs a, you know, custom thing or anything of that nature. I don't think that the Nyala needs anything special, you know. So I'm just giving you fair warning. Like, some animals, unless, you know... Maybe if someone donates or something and then, like, or commissions me to make specific weird animals, I might do it. But for the most part, you know, your aardvarks and stuff probably aren't going to get done. Because, I'm sorry, I just, no. <laughs> that ain't happening. So we'll do Flexi 2. I will lose sleep over a pygmy hippo not being, yeah. Like, that, that's my point, is the only reason I did stuff like Indian Elephant and stuff separate is because that was a low-risk thing, but they're different enough. A pygmy hippo plushie, I don't even know what I would do to make it different from the normal plushie. And that's my main issue, is just I wouldn't know what to make it. So file, save as Flexi 3. The 
normal map. File, save as. Normal map, and then finally I just gotta do the roughness map. And then we get to the fun part, which is adding the model in. Which isn't really that fun, it's just basically just rescaling the model that I've already done. <laughs> Do that. I want to say that's roughly. Yep, that was actually pretty spot on. You can tell how many I've done so far when I'm able to recognize the exact shade of white that the normal map needs to be. Meerkat plush. Okay, see, something like that I'd be more willing to do. Because like, I can see the appeal in. There's certain animals that I think are justifiable to have plushies, even if they're a bit more obscure. Meerkats, otters, uh, sloths red panda stuff like that i think are a bit because they're really marketable animals that are really common in gift shops so like i would maybe consider a meerkat even though it's not that useful because it's you know kind of really obscure but i would be maybe willing to do a meerkat um how many plushies am i aiming for i'm thinking around I'm thinking 25, ideally. Like, keep it. I I, I want to keep it a, as simple as I can. I'll have to see, but probably no more than 25. And probably not even 25 initially. I'm I'm really shooting for like maybe getting like 18 or 19 out. You know, in the initial release, and we'll have to see. I haven't done a koala. I would be probably willing to do a koala over a kangaroo. But I'd have to see. Like, that's just the only shame. is It's not that I don't like any of these animals or anything. It's just um, certain animals are more... Um, they, they're they more marketable for a gift shop than others. And so I have to take that into consideration. Like, what to prioritize. Because, yeah, again, like, you know, everyone wants every animal in the game. Like, oh, you didn't include a... Where's the bonobo or something? Like, you know, I get it. You know, you can justify anything to be a gift shop thing. But, you know, I'm also one person. <laughs> and so, considering I have to make all of these, I'll have to see. Because I'll, I'll, you know how we were talking about, like, when Frontier inevitably, like, rips me off? I am interested in seeing how, how many they do. Because I don't think they're going to do every single animal either. Because we've never gotten anything that had full representation for every animal in the game. Whether that be signage, whether that be murals, whether that be whatever, like literally every you know animal in the game got snubbed somewhere other than like your basic stuff like elephants and lions like i feel like they're the only ones that really had the exception but the vast majority were definitely not you know like i don't think there's any mandrel stuff in the game for instance like just as an example there's no mandrel signage there's no mandrel statues even though they're a cool animal so, unfortunately, I'm trying to, you know, be as fair to myself as possible. An ostrich. For, if you gave me 20 bucks, I'd do it. I would do the, I would do the cassowary ostrich and emu. I'll go, I'll go back to my old number of $20 commissions. Uh, at least for that. But if, if you gave me 20 bucks, I, I would add those three. So I'll do that, do that, do that. And I think we're good. So now we just got to... Finish up the hippo. Do that. 
that quick file export ms2 31 right yep export that grab you paste you and then I actually forget if I did I already re-inject everything I already forget <laughs> I forget if I re-injected everything already so let me check really quickly I'll just redo it again even if I already did just because I forgot uh, let's see what else who the hell is buying an ostrich plushie Well, Jurassic. Okay, he donated half. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, let's see. That's twenty-eight. Where? Okay. Let me just grab these really quickly. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Grab those. Paste the. Ah, sh I wasn't supposed to do that. Do that. Grab you, 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 you. Grab you. Paste you. Move there. Go to main, and now we have to add the hippo entry with only three flexi channels. Which maybe I'll do that soon. So let's see. Alright. Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. 31. 31, 31, 31, and we're golden. Cool. There we go. So now, if we check in game. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got one thing, and that is because we are doing a hippo with only three flexi channels, we want to just comment out the fourth flexi color. So that should remove the fourth flexi color channel from that object. So that's good. But thank you very, thank you, Jurassic. I do appreciate the donation. That is very useful. And like I said, you know, um, you know, someone if if forgettable sends me the extra ten or whatever, I will add all the all the big birds. So we'll get. I'll, I'll do emu cassowary and well i don't know about emu because e emu is walking a fine i'm gonna try to keep the packs mod free but i can at least make it so that the ostrich is vaguely like an emu so that you can kind of justify it like the like i'll make the neck color the like an option that you can just change the flexi color to be the same thing so that would be the same thing I'll, I'll try to, like, justify it like that, if that makes sense. Uh, I forgot to change... Yep. So, here's our hippo. I forgot to change the name of it from giraffe to whatever. What should the default color of a hippo be? Like, I'm thinking almost like a purplish red. Like, something like... Like this? I don't know. Because, like, I don't know what a... I mean, it kind of looks like the, hi the hippo from Hambo. <laughs> I think that's why I'm making that mental association. But um, I don't know what kind of color would fit the hippo best for, like, a default color. Because, like, I feel like if it's gray, it would just kind of blend in with the rhino and elephants and stuff. And so I'd want it to be a little bit unique. Again, let me look at more of those, like, hippo plushies. 
from my reference. Because I guess most of them have them gray, but I do see there are some purple ones. Yeah, I think I might go with purple for the, the base hippo collar, just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then if you want it to be gray, you can obviously change it to be boring. You know, you can make it be your standard, look, it's a hippo. <laughs> But I, th I think the purple makes it stand out a little bit more. So that being said, that's two down. So now we are moving on to, so we've done you, right? We've done that. Okay, so here are a few options we have. I really want to steer clear of the Okapi because that requires me to do some stripes and stuff, which I don't really want to do right now. So what are we thinking? Uh, moon bear, sun bear, panda bear. Which one? Because that's the one thing I'm debating about. <sighs> what do I want to do? I almost want to do the moon bear, but if there's another bear that people have, were you able to get them fluffy? N no, bold. So basically. I took the fluff away, and in favor, I put uh, some, like, velvety texture on them so that they uh, look a bit better. Um, so they don't have the fluff, but they, they still have some texture to make them look like they have some texture. And as Leaf put it, you can't even tell the difference because, um, you know, literally, like, you're going to look at them from roughly this distance most of the time. And even up close, I don't think you would even notice that they didn't have fur on them so i think it's okay i am doing an okapi only because that was another one where it was kind of easy to just you know i already made the giraffe so i might as well just shrink the neck and change the body slightly and oh look now it's an okapi so i will be doing an okapi just not today um speaking of though i do want to change the name of whatever so yeah let me know what bear you guys want me to do next and while you do that, I'm going to change this to say plushy hippopotamus. Is that how you spell it? Hippopotamus. I believe it is. Yes, it is. Hippopotamus. All right. Now we're on to 32, which don't know what that one is going to be. Uh, pandas are always popular. Panda it is. Plushy, giant panda. So, the thing about the panda, um, pandas aren't, they don't really look like other bears, so, like, I'm wondering, do I want to manipulate the model a little bit more? I, I, I just quickly, like, copy and pasted the other one. But I do think it, I want to make some slight alterations to make it look more panda-like because they don't look quite the same. So let me look up a panda quick and we're just going to make some minor differences just so that we can uh, get a better idea. Yeah, because like pandas are fat. That's the big thing. So the idea is I want to make sure that the silhouette reads as a panda. So... I think the first thing that I'm going to do, we're going to take these two neck vertices on the side and we're going to hit B and we're just going to scale a little bit, maybe even more. And then we'll do this. There we go. That That's a lot more panda-esque. Um, but I definitely forgot to select one vertice on this side. Yep. So I, I can already tell that that is going to read a lot more as a panda compared to how it was before. Similarly, right now it has like this kind of back hump 
I want to change that a little bit so that it's a bit rounder. Kind of like so. Actually, to be honest, I might even do this a little bit. Just change it a little bit. Yeah, that way it reads a little bit more. Might have overdid it a little bit. Kind of like so. And then I think I might do this quick, just separate, just because I want to separate the body a little bit and make it so that the neck squeezes. And another little thing I'm thinking about doing just for the panda, it's eyes, I think I want to make yeah. So the eyes of the panda, because pandas. Actually, nah, never mind. That's not even that necessary, to be honest. Yeah, honestly, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll just tweak the ears just a little bit, just a hair. Make them. It'll just be slightly different than the other bears. That way it looks a, a bit more readable. Uh, I like the denim texture. Yeah, it's kind of like a denim-y, yeah, like felt kind of texture. Um, but yeah. Like at real zoos, they don't get separate plushies for similar. Animals. Yeah, exactly. Like that was that was the idea was unless it's something that's like a panda versus a normal bear, most zoos that that I'm aware of usually like to stick with just oh yeah that we just have a generic um, you know porcupine or something or a generic uh, <laughs> like especially when you get into like subspecies. Um, like, or uh, even just species. Like, they only have one zebra or something. You're not going to have, like, mountain zebra plushies versus, like, a normal one. So, that's kind of the idea. It's just, I'm going for making it realistic, but also, like, you know, trying to give you some more out there choices. And I'm willing to do stuff like the Formosan and stuff because it's technically, um, like, it would it would be different enough looking. So if it's easy enough for me to make, I will, I will do it. Like, that's why, like, you may have seen, like, I did, like, the Ibex and the Moose and stuff. Those were made by accident, to be honest. Um... So, uh, just to show you off really quick. Um, so, these were made by accident. I was working on a moose, and I think I accidentally made a... It, I've said this face looked more like a goat. And so I'm like, oh, well, I guess I just accidentally made an Ibex. And then I tried making a Cape Buffalo, and then um, that's like... Actually, I started making a Cape Buffalo, and then that's how the moose and the Ibex came out. And then um, I tried doing the Cape Buffalo again. I'm still not super happy with it. I'll have to see if I stick with it. Um, like I said, some of the, I, I think the Okapi is good, and I like the bears and stuff. Some of these other ones I might change up or whatever. Um, and I do want to get to making some monkeys at some point, so that is going to be another thing um, that I want to focus on at some point. So... We'll start off by doing the usual, which is eyeball and tag. And we will replace you with the Lambert texture, which I now know we have. So there you go. So now it has the Planet Zoo tag. And now we gotta add the textures. So we'll just click on every single one in here. 
Now we click on every single one in here. Um, I come to think, I guess the panda is going to be another one that might only have like maybe even just two color channels. Which, speaking of, I actually needed to make sure the hippo only had three, right? Oh, it does have four. Okay, so I messed up somewhere. So I'm going to have to check that out. Um, why it still has four channels, because it's only supposed to have three. Um, let's see what I'm looking for. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. There you go. Do that. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. And do that. Base color. It looks like I forgot to do the feet somewhere. I forget where. Is it on this layer? There we go. So this is our panda foundation. So we will put that move you white rhino. We'll do panda really quickly. Select folder. Let me check the chat. What you guys talking about? Are you gonna place these? Uh, you're gonna place these plushies and never look at them again. Uh, yeah. So that that's the pretty important thing is. I do want to make it so that you at least have animals for your zoo, because I know that is a thing that a lot of zoos, um, especially around here, like to do. They don't want to just get... Some zoos like to just get generic animals. Like, I know some zoos will just be like, yeah, here's a, you know, an elephant. We don't even have elephants, but here's an elephant plushie, because we're a zoo. There you go. I know, but other zoos, like um, Capron, like I actually talked to like some of the staff at Capron and they said like they kind of only like to buy plushies for animals that uh, they have at Capron. So you're only going to find lion and otter plushies and stuff. You're not going to find elephants there. Um, so I want to make sure that people at least have that accessible where they at least have some animals that they would be able to, you know, put in their zoo regardless. Um, so unfortunately for the ZSU zoos, that's going to be a bit harder because most of the ZSU zoos have, you know, very, very specific things, but, you know, I'll try my best to accommodate everyone. But, uh, speaking of ZSU, I do have the next episode of Ocean State recorded. Um, I am sorry that I haven't been uploading it. It's not that I haven't wanted to. It's just the next episode is going to be a huge episode. Like, I'll actually show off just so that you guys get to get a taste of, like, what we're talking about with Ocean State. I'll load that in the background while we work. Because um, it's, it's a big project that I'm working on. And it wasn't something that I could just kind of slap together really quickly. It had to be kind of a bit more in-depth. So, it is recorded, etc. I actually have kind of three episodes recorded of it. Um, but, you know, it's just taking some time. So, please forgive me. But, it's just taking a bit longer than I would have liked. Uh, base, normal, roughness, then we will apply you, file export, actually, hold on, I have to do this. There we go, file, export. Export. This will be flex one. And we're good. So, quickly just showing off Ocean State. This is what I've been working on in the background. <laughs> so, it's a big building, and it's all, if you haven't seen my post, it's based around Madagascar. So, it's, uh, it's pretty in depth for what it is. Um,. And so, yeah, as you can see, like, there's a lot in it um, that, you know, I've been wanting to do. It's just I haven't been able to show it off. So 
I apologize, but it is still in the works. I just got to record it at some point. <laughs> That's the only thing. Same thing. Capron, same thing. Capron is also done. Leaf and I just haven't been able to record it because we've been busy. But very similarly, um, Capron is also almost done. Okay, so this is going to be a fun one. I have to make an inverse panda right now. So that's going to be confusing for me. So I'm just going to do this first just so that I don't get confused. I, I'm just going to need to remember that I'm, I need to flip the stuff when I'm done. Um, do you think you can make a red panda plug? I will probably do a red panda. So don't worry about that. Because like a red panda is one of those, like I said, that's a marketable animal that is at every gift shop. Because a lot of zoos have red pandas. So I will probably do a red panda. All right, start off by doing that. Well, now we've made an Andean bear. <laughs> Maybe that's frankly what I should do is just make this a double as an Andean bear. Um, Diagonal fill. Um, there we go. Well, actually, nah. I kind of like it like that a bit more. And then we will just add the ears need to be completely black. So I'll just do that now. All right, the front legs and back legs need to be black, so we can do that quick. Front legs, back legs, both need to be black. Then I gotta do kind of a weird thing, but I'm gonna try my best here. Uh, again, I apologize, I'm freehanding everything with my mouse right now, so... I do apologize if it looks ugly. <laughs> so we'll do this, I guess. Maybe even bring it down so that it connects up with the rest. And then, am I able to just do this? No, it makes the rest white, okay. Have to get a little creative here. But I'm going to do my best. So I could probably just do this, I think. Yeah, we could probably do this and then clean it up in a minute by doing this. But yeah, this was probably a smarter way of doing it. I don't know why you're black. That's bizarre. Get rid of that. Um, okay, so that's good. And then pandas also have... How does the black wrap around their leg? Is that right? I think that's it, actually. I think that's pretty much it for a panda. Yeah, it seems about right. So now I just got to flip these two. This, this was going to be the only thing that was going to be confusing. So I need the black layer to be white and vice versa. So like I, I have an inverse panda. Which does look bizarre. So we'll just export it and do that. This will be flex two. And, and I get like, I mean, I can make the nose its own flexi color channel. That's not an issue. 
I don't really think the muzzle needs to be different, though. That's, like, the only thing for me. Um... Yeah. Yeah, because the muzzle, it's a panda. So, like, that wouldn't be different. So, I'll just do this quickly. Yep, that's good. And that'll be flexi three or four. We'll do that as flex four. And then I get, I mean, it's not really necessary on a panda, but I guess I can at least do the little color on the, the feet and stuff that I did. I've just seen those recolorable. Yeah, they, uh, they're pretty good. Yeah, so uh, Primal, if you didn't see it earlier, I did show off. There will be alligator plushies um, and Cayman and Gariel and stuff, and those are all thanks to Kaidu, who's another modder. Uh, she actually did the... Oh, what did she do? Uh, which was it? The Saiga antelope. And she also technically did the uh, Echidna, if, uh, if and when that comes out that uh, is going to be in the Outback pack, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I don't really think this is necessary, but eh, eh, we have the color channels to work with. Why not? We might as well add it. <laughs> if you want different color paw prints, here you go. It's nothing really special about them, but there you go. Knock yourself out. <laughs> and I, I mean I guess I could also do the uh, what's it called the inner ears that I did for the other bear alongside this Uh, and then do that. Totally unnecessary for a panda, but there you go. <laughs> so that'll be flex three. There you go. So now we have all the textures for the panda done. Let us get it in the game. I don't know how much money that is, but 80,000? <laughs> uh, I assume is that... Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, Forgettable, then. I do appreciate it. So you will get your ostriches, but now I'm actually $10, I guess, richer. Um, so I don't know if uh, Jurassic's in the chat, if he has any recommendations for, like, a... Uh, I don't know. I'll do, like, one semi-easy animal that might be a bit obscure that he wants as a plushie. So, something that wouldn't be too crazy, but, uh, you know. Put it this way, ask for something and then I will approve or deny it. <laughs> but, you know, because now I have $30, so... Forgettable, now paid for all of the birds, so if you want something else, you can let me know. Hippopotamus, giant pendo. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Review. I mean, you did say for the community. If the community also has ideas and you guys can like vote on so like, 
Maybe you guys could all like come up with suggestions and then vote on them or something. And then I'll, I'll do whatever. Within reason. Don't ask for like some crazy thing that would be really difficult. But uh, I am open to most. Base color first, flexi color stuff. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, honestly, that's a good idea. If you want me to do a seal, I would be willing to do a seal. That would be within the realm of reasonability. I wouldn't be offended by that one. Honestly, yeah, the, a seal within the art style that I've gone for would be kind of funny looking. Because it would just be like a blob. Yeah, it would be like a literal thing. Okay, we'll do a seal. Sure. So I'm just going to make a mental note of that. I'll do the three birds and the seal. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Because like I said, I also am going to be... Um, doing on my own a few ungulates that I know we need, like zebras and um, mostly zebras. <laughs> that was the most the, the zebra, zebra and maybe like camel or something. That would probably be pretty common too. Um, but yeah, I can do a seal. And you know, with the seal, I might even throw in a sea lion because that that I, that I could probably make pretty easy. So, I'll, pr I'll probably do that. So, that's good, that's good, that's good. Normal map time. File, save as, PNG, good. And now to do the roughness map. Um, and since we're coming up on the end of the uh, panda now, I probably have room for maybe, uh, we have like a half hour left that I can live stream. We can maybe do one more uh, probably bear so do you guys want formosan or sun bear uh let me know so moon bear or sun bear <laughs> make the seal of big eyes i could try to do that oh what did i do i messed up All right, let's see, here we go. Put that in there. Do this. Delete you, and we're gonna change you to be three. And then I hope this works, cause 
I really only want this one to be added and the others not to change. So hopefully that works. And then we will put that here. Uh, could you make the front bit of the ostrich's neck flexi color? Yeah. Well, like I said, I'll do the cassowary separate because like a cassowary, it needs a horn. So that's going to be a separate one in general. But I can at least try to do the emu uh, with the flexi color thing from the ostrich. So unfortunately, that would be a pain for... Um... Oh, dang it. I knew it would do that by mistake. Do I still have the stuff from 31? No, I over oh, dang it, I overwrote it. Um, okay, I messed up. So, one moment. 31. Grab you guys. Extract the roughness map from you. you, grab you, paste you, grab you, inject you, inject all of this again, technically. everything in here again and then we're gonna unpack you within K I don't know why I've been just doing K a lot lately as like the folder name but we'll have to see what's up Zoo? how you doing working on some plushies all right we'll grab this and we need to do file import ms2 plus or no we don't not an ms2 or an Injecting an OBJ. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, panda, here we go. Grab our big old panda boy. Get him roughly the same size as the hippo. Move the hippo. Grab you, change your UV to be UV zero. Remove your default material, combine you with the hippopotamus in holy matrimony, then divorce you, and we are left with a sad panda. So I'll do that. Um, so like I said, what did we vote on? Did you guys want the moon bear or sun bear? Because we're going to be literally getting this thing in game any second now. So, just a heads up. File export MS2 32. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll put it in the K folder. What do you mean it's unweighted? It shouldn't be unweighted. Thought I weighted this thing. This pack might put ZZ out of business. Actually, it's going to put Keyboard Keeper out of business. <laughs> That's who it's actually going to put out of business. X4 MS2. Do you. Alright. Now, from the K folder, we will grab... You got er, you, 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 and you. Grab you. Delete everyone else. And then we grab you. Grab you. Delete everyone else. And 
I think I already did everything there, so now we just gotta add the entry in here. Yeah, I don't know why it... It shouldn't be spawning in the fourth one. I'll have to see about that. On the hippo. Like, I'm wondering if it's based around something that isn't the flexi channels. I'll have to see. Uh, 32, 32, and 32. Cool. Now run it, and we're going to reload the game and check it out. Uh, let's see. Just made it. What's up? How you doing, Gabe? Uh, sun bear, sun moon bears, moon. Well, like I said, I will be doing both at some point. I'm just wondering what we're doing last on today's stream. So... Let me know. Like, I'm gonna be doing both. It's just I need... I only have 20 minutes left. <laughs> All right. All right. Construction. Plushy. I made a lot of plushies. Here's our giant panda that right now just looks like a black bear because its default color is there. There we go. Look at him. That's adorable. I love him. Probably darker black. Oh, and you can even do like that weird, uh, the brown one. The, sh what is it called? She, she Lin. Oh God, I forgot what the name of the, the other panda is. It's like some specific thing. <laughs> Nick should create a pull next stream and every plushie he makes has to, has to be made into a real one. Look, I made the, <laughs> I made the uh, what's it called, the the creepy mother panda from the, the base game. Look, there you go. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's like three three different layers of it. Perfect. made a lot of plushies. <laughs> this is actually impressive. Alright, well, with no one coming up with a definitive answer, I'm just gonna say Moon Bear and call it a day. <laughs> Though actually with 15 minutes left, I don't even know if I'm going to have time to even do a Moon Bear, to be honest. Um, I'll try. Let's see how fast I can do this. But we will definitely be seeing. Need a front view of it. Check his UVs really quickly. I think they're good. Yep, they're fine. Alright, 
export, and we'll do moon bear. Document resolution will be 2048, so I can skip that step. Moon bear, grab you, discard you, throw you on it, give it a black nose. Alright, I'm gonna try to speed this the best I can, but it's still... <laughs> the issue is the, the, the last two that I chose are ones that are actually gonna have to be a little bit, you know, harder just because I'm gonna be needing to actually, like, paint some actual detail on them. Because I gotta do the, uh, what's it called? The moon or sun, respectively. Oh, I suppose it's basically the same symbol on both. Which could work in my favor. I might be able to just get the sun bear done soon tonight as well. I'll have to see. I don't want to get everyone's hopes up. Save, export texture, 2048 by 2048. We gotta locate a new folder to put the moon bear in. Moon bear, there we go. White rhino, moon bear, cool. Base. Normal. Roughness. Delete the rest. Alright. Going good. Going good. So that's going to be that. And we're just going to do this on the eyes and tag. File, export, export. There we go. Do that. Flex one. Done. Cool. Now, Moon Bear is going to be unfortunately missing out on the really sick, nasty um, <laughs> hand and feet thing <laughs> that some of the other ones have um, in favor of his moon. So, let's see. Moon Bear. I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, it's literally just like a thing. Uh, I'm gonna move my uh, thing off screen really quick to do this just because I'm better with my uh, pen. So forgive me if you're not gonna see stuff for 15 seconds, give or take. There we go. There we go. Now it has a moon. So, that's good. And yeah, so we can export that now. That's flex two. Flex 3, which is just going to be the muzzle minus the nose. So we'll do this. Nope. Do this. And then do this. File, export. Do that. Flex 3. And finally, we just got to do the inverse of that. So we'll just. Frankly, just reselect everything and do this. If 
file export, and we'll do the nose. There we go. So now we have X4, and we are good. Mm, we have 10 minutes left. I'm like racing against uh, me needing to uh, go out. <laughs> We're going out for dinner, so we have to do that quickly. So we will grab 31, that could be fine. We'll just put it in 33. Drop all that stuff, grab these files, go into here, drop them into here. All right, Let's see how fast I can do this. That's literally identical, cool. Wait, if that's identical, then maybe I might be able to even get away with, yeah, because that's the same, that's the same. So the only difference, okay, okay, we can work with this. So there's only two major differences with this entire thing from the grizzly bear, and that is gonna be the um, moon and the nose. So do this. File save. PNG. And then we'll do this. File save. So I think that's good. So we'll just do this quickly. This is the beauty of like using existing stuff as a base is I, I can just kind of quickly uh, reproduce stuff quickly. File, new, general, don't save. What, what was I just doing? That, that was, okay, that was dumb on my part. I shouldn't have done that. Because I actually needed that open. <laughs> Whatever, I could just use this. Or not. It crashed on me. Why did it crash on me? That shouldn't happen. Try that again. There we go. I don't know why it crashed the first time. Um, import obj plush elephant, we want moon bear, drag it down, slide you over a little bit, readjust here. Cool. So now we just move the hippo. Remove the texture. Give me zero. I'm sorry if I'm not uh, paying attention to chat right now. I'm just trying to get this done. Do this quickly. Uh, if I didn't do it already, but we'll do that. Prefab data, 
And we're gonna grab, I guess, from 32. That's fine. And then we just gotta do 33. 33, 33, and 33. Pack and wait for it to load. All right. How, we did that in five minutes. What's up, S Dan? How's it going? We're working on speed running some stuff. So I just made a moon bear in about five minutes, if that was the case. So I'm getting I'm getting faster, I hope. So um yeah. So that's the thing. But we're making a bunch of different plushies. So that everyone can have nice gift shops and not just ones with shirts. Because the kid's not going to ask for a shirt. The kid's going to ask for a red panda plushie or something. So, plushie, moon bear. Did I even call it the... I probably didn't. I have it, though. And here it is. Here is our moon bear. Now, it just looks like a black bear, but that's because... There it is. There's the, the moon. So, now we have a moon. So, this one's a little bit lamer, just because it doesn't have the, the ears. I might add... You know, I might do that. I might make it so that the moon also adds a little bit of detail to the ears and stuff. Uh, just so it's more consistent. But with that being said, we're literally about to wrap up today's stream. <laughs> so uh, I'll show off all the ones that we made today. So that's an inverse panda that I just did. So here is our panda bear that we did. There you go. So we got the Formosan black bear, the panda bear the grizzly bear slash polar bear slash black bear. We did a lot of bears today. So here is our grizzly bear and inverse our polar bear by simply doing this. There we go, now it's a polar bear. Then we did our hippo, which is right here. Look at all of them. Look at all of the crazy plushies we got. <laughs> we have a lot of plushies at our disposal now. Do we have the bison? I could probably make a bison. Um, that one I might be willing to do, just because that's pretty popular. Out of curiosity, let me see how many Roger Williams animals I have. So, um, that's a fake giraffe plushie. This is why we actually need to, I need to name them. Because if I don't, we miss out on stuff. So, here's the giraffe plushie. So, there you go. Elephant. You gotta do that one. Cheetah. I got that covered. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I have for Roger Williams right now. Um, so that's all I have for now, but I do have a lot more. I have rhinos and tigers and leopards and lions and tapirs. I forgot why I did the, ta uh, oh, I know the reason. I did the, the tapir I made exclusively because um, we were debating, um, we were trying to figure out like what I wanted to make. Um, and so we, we, since I did the elephant first, followed by the rhino, I was like, I guess I'll do all the pachyderms first. So I did all, I did both elephants, both rhinos, ta all the tapirs, and the hippo all at once. And then I did, so I've been doing them in chunks that you may have seen in Maya, where basically I did all the pachyderms, then I did all of the big cats, then I did all of the bears. So soon I need to do all of the ungulates all the apes and all of the dogs and then that would cover most of what we need and then like i said i got to do a handful of other things now i got to do a seal and i got to do some ostriches and stuff but i am gonna be uh wrapping up for today so thank you all for watching today's video if you liked you definitely want to like comment and subscribe 
and uh, I will see you guys next time. So, bye everyone. Have a great rest of your afternoons.